Hey guys, what is up? It is TrueKiller360 here, and today I got you guys the Grand Theft Auto High Life DLC. It is finally here, came along with patch 1.13, and there's quite a bit that uh, came along with this patch. The uh, DLC introduced quite a bit of stuff, it introduced four new vehicles, um, some weapons, new apartments, and uh, lots of other things. So uh, in this video, I'm not going to go too in-depth with it, but uh, I will show you I know, some of the customization options for each vehicle. Um, as you see here, we have the Enos Huntley S, S meaning sports, so this will most likely be the fastest SUV and most maneuverable in the class, so this will definitely be a uh, most wanted uh, SUV, at least within the uh, SUV class. Um, it, it is a it's still a tank, even though it's fast, because, I mean, it takes minimal damage at uh, high speeds, and you know, it just, I don't know, it just feels like a tank when you're driving it because there's not really too much that can stop it. And uh, since the suspension can be so low, that really helps with the uh, aerodynamics and whatnot. Uh, so the speed really increases, the uh, turning radius, it helps it out, helps it all out a lot. Um, see here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and uh, drive around a little bit. But uh, this, this car is amazing. It's not, it's not too much that you see a uh, SUV do drifts like that, not even on purpose, um, but uh, it's got a lot of torque that comes along with it, which could be good and it could be bad, but uh, from what I've seen, it's it's pretty good, and uh, the other vehicles in this uh, DLC really blown my mind. So uh, here, we uh, have the sports car, so uh, this is the Masakro, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, customize it. I'm going to take it to the mod shop. This is a very, very nice car. Um, Rockstar is just, I don't know, pumping out sports cars for some reason. I guess it's kind of the uh, the average kind of class that uh, everybody looks towards. Because uh, there's not too many super supercars out there. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of sports cars and a lot of companies are moving that way towards sports. And, uh, yeah. But uh, this, this car looks amazing. You can do a lot of body modifications, as you can see here. Um, you can go really in depth with it and uh, make it look very very good and uh, you see me right here I am customizing the heck out of it and uh, I'm gonna add the uh, personal license or yeah license plate right there I'm gonna go ahead and color it yellow because I believe that looks like a fantastic color on at least on this car anyways um, and uh, I don't know I just love how much you can customize this car uh, lately Rockstar has been putting out some pretty customizational cars I don't even know if that's a word but uh, you know they look great all the stuff you can do to them they just make them that much better and uh, you see here the acceleration is already already all the way up and I'm still buying stuff for it so that's uh, just gonna help the acceleration even more uh, this is already a fantastic car I mean I have a ton of fun driving it and I uh, definitely definitely recommend you guys get it um, with this, even with this paint job or some other paint job, it looks fantastic. You don't even need all these body mods, but it still looks great on it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull it out, taking on a little uh, quick spin here. Um, I, I really, really, really like this car. Uh, it's not like most of the supercars that are already, or excuse me, sports cars that are already on Grand Theft Auto, because um, this one you can really customize it, like I've said plenty of times so far. Um, and it is it is super fast as you can see here and uh, the traction is just insane and uh, it's it, it'll be a great car for everybody I guarantee a lot of people are gonna buy it because I know it's so good and what the uh, you can buy two apartments now so it's perfect time to buy this car um, any car really from the new DLC pack so let's keep going next we have the only motorcycle in the DLC uh, Rockstar hasn't really been pumping out any motorcycles at all uh, with the uh, new DLCs, so this is something new that we saw, and uh, you know it's a pretty good bike. Uh, it's, it's it's called a touring bike, meaning uh, I don't know it's it's longer than other bikes. So I believe in a straight speedway, this will probably be any of the other motorcycles. Uh, but its turning radius isn't nearly as good. So uh, 
the body 801 is probably still still probably still has an edge on this one and uh, with races and whatnot you have slipstream and whatnot so the body will easily keep up with this thing so I mean it's it's not too important and uh, you know for the price tag it's seventy five thousand uh, dollars in game money and I don't know it really just doesn't jump out to me uh, you can do a little customization to it I think the uh, the original exhaust looks god awful because it's like this huge like bore exhaust hanging off the side and it looks like it has a tumor but uh, I decided to put on the uh, saddlebags because just because uh, customization and I just want to throw that on there but uh, I mean it looks pretty good it still not impressive impressive excuse me I can't even talk um, as I thought it'd be I thought it'd be like a super fast awesome car I mean it is super fast or bike I, I can't even talk today I'm sorry guys but uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on it driving it around and whatnot because I don't know it doesn't feel too special to me uh, but that's just my opinion you guys can go ahead and buy it yourself and uh, I don't know state your comments on it you can even post down in the comment section what you think of it uh, whether you agree with me or disagree but uh, you know it it's a pretty good bike I don't want to talk bad about it or anything uh, cause Rockstar put a lot of work into it, but, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and move on to my favorite car in the DLC. Okay, so this is easily my favorite car. So if your jaw just dropped, I could say mine did too. This car it just looks amazing already. Uh, that's even before customization. And this car, it has so much customization. You can customize this thing so much. And, uh, you know, it just looks, ama it looks amazing already. And, uh, it's hard to believe that you can make this beast look even better. And, uh, I mean, this is probably my favorite car in Grand Theft Auto now. Uh, previously, it was probably the Turismo R. Uh, that was another good supercar that I really enjoyed. But I I just absolutely love this. And the, and the freaking exhaust is insane. If you see these exhausts, they're almost it's the size of smart cars. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they look great. And you can just, if you, you can just see the amount of customization you can put into this. And, uh, but I'm going to go on a quick... I can even talk. See, that's how speechless this car is. Um, I'm going with a black and lime green color scheme to it. And, uh, I mean, that just, it just looks so good. And uh, I'm not saying the orange looks bad on it or anything. I just, I'm a really big fan of lime green. And uh, you can see here all the freaking spoilers this thing has. And uh, the very last one is insane. It just makes this car that much better. And uh, this, this is easily my favorite because, I don't know, I don't much care for the Bugatti, though it is a very fast car, it's probably the most versatile, and uh, all that other stuff, but this one just, it just blows me away. I uh, went ahead and stuck with the regular rims, because I didn't want to lose the uh, green stripe around the outside, and the rims already look good themselves, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take it for a spin, and uh, believe it or not, this uh, clip right here, it is not sped up, that's just how fast this car is. Uh, this is easily about twice as fast as in the other cars in the game and uh, you know this thing is insane this is actually my first time driving it so it's a little sketchy when driving it I didn't want to wreck anything but uh, you see when I let go this thing really flies um, this I, I'm speechless it really it just looks great and uh, Rockstar did a fantastic job with that one so let's go ahead and move on okay here are some of the apartments you can buy now uh, I haven't been able to go in and actually look inside them to see if they're any different from the previous apartments but these things they look insane and they got a pretty hefty price tag on them uh, though there is quite a few of them which is great um, I do plan on buying one of these in the future not 100% sure which one I will buy um, I'll probably buy the cheapest one because uh, I don't know because I'm a cheapskate I guess uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and look at the prices for the uh, cars now um, Rockstar, not only did they add these four vehicles right here, they also added a couple more. Um, they added topless versions of some of the older cars, like the Coquette and the Banshee and the uh, Stinger and other cars like that. But uh, you see here all the price tags, um, they're all, I don't know, they're all affordable. Um, the Zentoro, pretty expensive, but not as expensive as the Adder, though uh, about $300,000 cheaper. It is definitely worth buying because um, I believe it is much better than the Adder. But uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below what you think of this DLC. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.